see. All right, y'all. Here, let me get y'all some money game real quick. Money game real quick, all right? For all my service providers out there, I think a lot of people are out here focusing on the wrong things because they do not understand what business they're in, right? So if you're a service provider and whether you're a freelancer, coach, consultant, graphic designer, you, you whatever you do, right? If you are a writer, content creator, um, any of that, here's what you got to understand. People are looking for somebody to take a burden off of their lap that is skilled, knowledgeable, and committed to their craft all day long. Like I was just sitting up here today, like who do I need on my team for 2020, right? And people don't understand like, when you are committed to your craft and you are committed to the act of service, that's what people don't understand. When you make a decision to get in business as a service provider, your commitment is to serve your clients. That means you do whatever you gotta do to take the burden off of their lap with the service that you provide. It's not about just making money. And this is where this generation get it all wrong, right? Everybody wanna get paid. And then you going, hold on, sweetheart, hold on. You going into all these coaching programs trying to learn how to charge people all this money, but people don't know how to serve their clients, right? So people don't know. Like one of the things I can say about my clients is I'm always looking for ways to continue to enhance and improve their process and I'm always accessible. My clients don't pay me and I disappear. That's not well, happening. What I'm say is, oh, can we go to the pyramid? Oh, not right now, baby. Yeah, my clients, my clients, when, when they hire me, and here's the catch with most of my clients, they don't even really fully understand what they need because I'm coming in being a problem solver with suggestions and improvements and enhancements and saying, Let, we can do this, we can do that. How about we fix this? How about we do this? Like it's always coming in with a commitment to enhance that person's life. And even now I text my clients, even when they haven't paid me for certain things, I'm like, hey, have you ever thought about doing this? And they'll come back and be like, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm like, we might, we might want to add this into your business model, right? Here's what y'all got to understand. People ready to pay you all day long if you are committed to serving your clients, all right? If you're committed to serving your clients, you will never have an issue getting paid. Right now, people are looking for social media managers. They're looking for content writers. They're looking for graphic designers. They're looking for web developers. They're looking for uh, virtual assistants. Mm -hmm. They're looking for CTOs, people who are chief technology officers, right? right They're looking for CMOs, chief marketing officers. Right. They're looking for people to take stuff off of their lap. But your goal is to master your craft and to be willing to show up and serve your clients in a way where they don't ever have to try to figure out if you're doing what you need to do because you're always coming to them showing them improvements, enhancements, and results, right? So your goal is to transform their life and transform their experience. Now that won't mean you won't have hiccups, right? I'm in the tech space. We have a lot of hiccups. We had one today. I was on a call with uh, with my CTO. Mom, and is that the doctor? Oh yeah, I think we're close to the doctor's office, yeah. I was on a call with my CTO and we, we I found out all these hoops she had to jump through just to change a domain name for this new software that we're using. And I'm like, people don't even understand what you go through behind the scenes to, to build stuff and make stuff happen, right? So that stuff just comes along with the tech space. But what my goal is for y'all to understand is, listen, if you want to serve clients, if you're committed to serving, oh, it is right here. Oh, sorry, it's locked. If you are committed to serving clients, you ain't gonna never have no issue with money, ever, ever. Let me tell y'all something. I hop on the phone with my clients. My clients pay me and pay me very well. But one thing that I will tell you about what I do with my clients, I have to chase them down so we can make sure stuff is moving forward. Because I'm always looking at what are we improving and enhancing to make sure that their experience is amazing and that we're putting money into their pocket, that we're building their business, we're building their brands, we're building their presence. But what I'm finding right now it is so hard to find people committed to their craft that's not in this game just for the money. And so if y'all really want to make some money, you guys, listen, think about what service it is that you are providing. Ask yourself, what is the biggest frustration? Yep, Cloud Fair and LaQuania. We had to do Cloud Fair today. She was telling me all the stuff she had to go through just to change the doggone domain name, right? 
but think about all the all the challenges and struggles that your client is going through and find a way to take that burden off of their lap because that's why people will that's why people pay you and that's why they will continue to pay you is when you take when you are a, a and we hear this all the time but i don't think people get it you gotta be stop carson just wait you gotta be a solution to people's problems and that means that you're always looking beyond the paycheck to enhancing your client's life and making sure that when they work with you they don't ever want to release you because i got people now who are like please tell me that i'm gonna always be able to have you on my team because they don't have to worry about certain things they ain't got to go learn certain things about whatever it is that they have to learn about right there's just things that they don't want to have to think about they just want to hand it on over to me and they want to say nicole can you and your team get this done and we get it done and let me tell y'all i don't even ever really promote what it is that i do on social media and i don't have to because i get so many referrals that I'm always getting business because people know if you go work with Nicole, you straight because she's going to make sure you have everything you need or even get the right people you need to elevate your business to go to the next level. And so I just really want to encourage all y'all service providers, if you want to get paid, y'all, learn how to take a burden off somebody's lap. Like stop focusing just on money and focus on how to be a, a, a contributor. Here's the thing, be a teammate to your clients be a part of their team be in this game because you want to help your client you want to be a, a a you want to basically and this is what i tell my my students it's like you want to take over um please help out the car you want to take over a division of their company you basically want to run a division of their company that's why people hire you if i'm hiring you for social media management i'm hiring you because i don't want to have to think about anything regarding social media management okay if i'm hiring you because i need content written i don't want to have to think about no content creation all right so that's the whole point of of, of me doing this video i gotta take these kids into a doctor's appointment but y'all listen you want to get paid think about how can you best serve your clients okay think about how you can best serve your clients how you can take a burden off their lap and how you can run a division of their company to the point where you're bringing the results to them and you're going to them they don't have to chase you to get the job done all right all right y'all gotta wrap this up see y'all later bye